home? This, what, is it, what goes through your mind when you hear something like that? Does it fire you up or anything? Uh, first praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, for sure. And I kind of had that mental the whole second half. Like I knew in the first half, I wasn't, I wasn't being aggressive enough. Um, and I wasn't really playing the way I liked. And the second half was just totally different. But it was, it's always confidence, you know, enhancing when, you know, coach is giving you that, okay, let's go, go win it for us. You're, you're not getting to the line per se, but you're still being very efficient. Just what's allowed you to be efficient in terms of numbers, but even if the free throw attempts aren't there? Uh, just, man, I trust my game. You know, I, I trust my work ethic. I trust the, you know, the work I put in. and. And I go out and do it, you know, regardless, you know, if they call fouls or not, you know, I'm going to continue to attack and continue to put pressure on them until they do. And uh, sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. You know, it's, it's crazy to, you know, see you know, continue to put up the numbers, but, you know, at the end of the day, I can care less. I just want to, I just want to win, you know, and I would definitely like to get to the free throw line a few more times too, but teach his own. And although the, the final score was pretty expansive, mm -hmm. considering after the third quarter, you guys were able to, um, you know, get a lead and maintain it no matter how close they got. Does that count as a, a win on the defensive end for you? Well, 100. You know, a win is a win, but we still got to get better. You know, I won't say that we're complacent with it. Um, I would say we definitely made a step in the right direction in terms of having a better IQ, talking more. Um, in terms of that, those things, yes. But we we got to run guys off the three point line as much as possible um, and get that 132 down. That's just way too many points. Who do you think surprises you most out of the new players that are here? If you can pick one player. Mm, nobody, honestly. Nobody. I mean, because I see them every day. They probably surprise you guys more than they surprise me. And every day I'm with these guys. Every day I'm trying to build them up, build confidence, build you know, build their skill work, and they do that on their own too. So nothing, nothing really takes me by surprise. Reversal of fortunes for you guys on the boards in the second half. I think you guys out rebounded them after they took care of things in the first half. Was there anything said that had in halftime? What was the key to the second half dominating on the glass for you guys. Just being more physical, hitting them first. Um, I think in the first half, coach, coach came in at halftime and said, we got to get the 50-50 balls. We got to get the rebounds. We got to get the tip outs, the loose balls. Um, you know, those things, those those plays were hurting us. And, you know, once we did that, we were able to get bodies on bigs, uh, limit up on one shot and get out. You know, I think Rui did a, a hell of a job in the second half and rebounding you know, down the stretch for us. So. We, uh, it's got to be a collective effort for sure. You know, we got Proto and you know Lamarcus down there battling. We got wings who can crash. Uh, this is gonna be like that every night for us. So we got to make sure that we're, we're locked in on that on that part of it and get boards. You made Brent. ten in a row in the third quarter. Have you ever had a quarter like that where you just can't miss? You did twenty one in that quarter. I don't even remember. To be honest, I didn't know I had. Went to him for it just him. felt like any other shot. Like after every shot, it's just a miss, as you always say. Yeah, the miss is a lady. Last time I checked, so I don't know what a miss is. <laughs> right now, four and eight. Do you believe this is about to, you guys' record as a representation of your guys' team? Or, I mean, obviously, you're getting, but yeah. Yes, yes, and no. I, you know, I definitely take a win, but we 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 gotta get better defensively. Still. Um, like I said before, we're giving up 130 plus every night. That's just way too much. We can't be first in offense and last in defense. It just doesn't work like that. You know, we gotta we gotta be able to find a balance and, and be able to defend and get stops better than what we are. And it's definitely a step in the right direction, I would say. But we gotta get, we gotta limit those those points to second chance points. And a lot of the easy ones that we give up. Brad, um, Coach Brooks talked about how he came to you in the second half and pretty much told you to take the game over. Mm -hmm. How does that relationship work between player and coach where, you know, that, that, that he has to, you know, pretty much come to you and, and let you know when, when it's time for you to, to pretty much take the game over? And do you feel like it's a part of your growth as, you know, a franchise player, as that, that ability to take games over and lead your team to victory? Because that's what it's all about. Uh... I'm just confident in myself and confident, like I said before, in the work I put in. And, and uh, you know, I'm always a winner first. You know, I'm always going to go out and win no matter what it looks like, if I have to take a game over or not, or just be able to create for everybody. Like, that's what I'm going to do. And it's always, uh, it's always even much more better. It means more to you, you know, when, when your coach is backing you. You know, we have a great relationship. It's been great since day one. And uh, it's just constantly getting better. You know, he has every year he's putting more and more trust in me to, to be able to make those plays down the stretch, have the ball in my hand, and be able to make the right play. And uh, it's been paying off. You know, I'm, I'm appreciative of the trust. I'm appreciative of, you know, him giving me basically the keys and just letting me, you know, kind of drive the car. And uh, rebound the basketball, finish possessions. I don't think we got to worry about offense. So uh, that was kind of our mindset. 
You guys also dominated on the glass in the second half after they kind of handled things, you know, for the first two quarters. Uh, how key was it to be able to get those boards in the second half? Like I said, you gotta you kind of you gotta guard for 25 seconds. You also gotta uh, get the rebounds and finish the possession. And we didn't really do a good job in the first half. Um, they made some lucky shots, or not lucky. They made some tough shots, and uh, they missed them in the second half. So, and we got the rebounds. We did a good job with that. So, um, we still gave up 125. So it's still a lot of points, but um, we're getting better and we're working on it. 12 games into the season, you're obviously playing some of your best basketball. What do you think? been key for you to kind of perform to your abilities? I mean, when you say best basketball, I haven't played yet, so sure. it's literally the first time I, I get a chance to play. Um, I have a real role and I'm very grateful for that and I'm just trying to t t t take chance of the opportunity, uh, make the best out of it because I know um, it can be different any of the day. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get as many wins as I can and kind of help the team grow and uh, improve myself. Another really productive night for you guys coming off the bench, the, you know, the four or five of you guys. The, how encouraging is that to have multiple guys in that unit being able to produce on a night by night? I mean, it's fun. It's fun as hell. Excuse my language, but <laughs> when, the, when the ball moves like that, and um, it's like when in doubt, pass it to Davis, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's it's ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's obviously a lot of fun. And, um, if you play the game with that type of joy, uh, things, good things happen to you, and you're locked in defensively, and you're able to make runs. So. What was working for you offensively? Um, I've been going through a little slump early in the season. And uh, through 82 games, you just got to kind of keep pushing, keep pressing. Um, so we, our second unit, we, we try to play with pace, try to get the ball from the first side, the second side, and possibly the third side. And, and uh, tonight was my call, you know, number to make some shots and knock down some shots, and thank God I did. Your guys' second unit has pretty much totally disregarded just any sort of concept of positions. Oh yeah, yeah. Like Bertans <laughs> running pick and rolls, yeah, yeah, yeah. all that stuff. What's what's that do for you guys on the offensive end? Why has that been so effective for you? Uh, because it's probably non traditional. Like it's something that people have never seen before, and it's kind of DB making plays. Um, you know, DB bringing the ball up, CJ pushing the ball up, J Mac bringing the ball up, um, and then you know Mo popping. It's just something that they probably haven't seen before. And we play so fast and with so much pace, and uh, so that, that's an advantage for us. Because if the game slowed down, and, you know, we're not the biggest, you know, when it comes to being in that second unit. So we're just trying to play to our strengths and our advantage. As a competitor, as somebody who loves the game like you do, how much fun is that? Oh no, it's so much fun. Uh, the Lord blessed me with speed, so I got to use it. Um, you know, and so I try to use that to my advantage, to my strength, and, uh, and I think you know my teammates feed off of it. And I get in the paint, spray off of threes, and, and I think, you know, when we play at that pace and play with that uh, kind of defensive prowess, then we put ourselves in a good position to win games, a lot of games. Although the Spurs, you know, got up to 132 uh, points <laughs> by, by the third quarter, you guys had, you know, got the lead and yeah. maintained it, no matter yeah. what happened at the end. Which yeah, I thought, the, I thought the first year, and they've been doing it all year, they came out uh, in our third quarter, and our second half's been our best halves, uh, and they came out third, uh, punched. You know, not literally. But, you know, I can't say too much because of Miles Garrett, but uh, punched him literally in the <laughs> in the face and uh, uh, punched him in the mouth and, and got the lead. Went up eight nine, and uh, you know, we just wanted to come in the second unit and maintain it. Um, Brad, it, uh, you know, uh, TB, all those guys. Troy set the tone defensively. I thought he was special tonight, um, and Rui played well, and they kind of set the tone defensively and offensively. But it started defensively. And uh, offense, they ran and uh, got us a win. What's it been like seeing the growth of those young guys just 12 games into the season? Yeah, it's huge, which is crazy because we still got so much room to improve offensively and defensively. So we're going to continue to take the steps. It's just one win. Um, go to work tomorrow. Try to continue to get better and get ready for Friday. Wins or losses, you guys are playing games with these okay. like, outrageous scores. Yeah. Do, you, do you look at 138, 132, and is that jarring for you to see constantly? Nah, when I, it's funny because when I was in high school, we used to, uh, you know, it's 32 minute games in North Carolina, no shot clock. So we used to try to score 100 points. Uh, and I think, you know, in the four years I was in college, each year we averaged about 80, 85 points, 88 points, uh, which was a lot. So, um, I'm, I'm kind of used to it, um, but we have to play to that advantage again. And uh, I think the whole NBA is playing that way. Um, I think it's surprising how efficient we are, uh, how unselfish we are, and we got to continue that. 
Do you think defenses are surprised by how well you're shooting the three ball and they're maybe giving you that shot? Oh yeah, they're gonna keep doing that. Uh, that's it's been the uh, it's been my career, uh, so I have to be efficient in that, keep working on it, um, and keep getting better. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna try to keep doing. It helps my teammates out, helps the spacing out, um, and, and so hopefully I can continue to grow with that. Exactly.